Curaçao is a beautiful tropical island in the Southern Caribbean Sea. Curaçao, along with Aruba and Bonaire, form the ABC Islands of the Caribbean. Curaçao is outside the Atlantic Hurricane Alley to the south, which makes it an ideal place to be with a sailboat in the stormy months of the hurricane season. After the search for our blue water cruiser kept coming up short in the U.S., we decided to expand our boundaries. In particular, we wanted to find a Scandinavian boat due to their seriously strong build quality and seaworthiness. The universe led our search to an awesome Swedish-built Nayad 440 that just happened to be owned by YouTubers Johan and Malin of Ron Sailor. We have made it to Carousel. Oh my gosh, we are so excited to be here. We finally made it. Our hearts are pounding. We're going to go get our sailboats. Exciting stuff. This is downtown? Yes. This is Williamstead. Oh, Williamstead. Yeah, yeah, no. okay. Gotcha. A deal was made and off to Curacao we went. Walking down the dock of the beautiful Sarapoca Marina with Johan to see our awesome Nayad for the very first time was truly exhilarating. After getting a tour of our awesome boat, Amber and I then headed to the beach where we had a wonderful, amazing dinner at Zest with some truly awesome views. Cheers. Cheers. And now we are going into the unit that we're going to be staying in for a few days while we're here getting the boat ready to sail back to Miami. Correct. Let's go check this place out. Go look. That's the money shot. That's the view. Wow, it's beautiful. We've got a nice little kitchen. Got just a shower here like a nice little bedroom. Cozy. Another nice cozy, oh this one's very spacious. Bedroom and here we go. So a nice spacious bathroom for us. And then there is a laundry room, wow. Can wash a few things before we leave, maybe. Now let's check out the real view. What do you think, babe? Carrying that light luggage. Make them look empty. Welcome to day two in Curacao of Snow and Peru. Yesterday we got to walk on the boat, spend a couple hours with Colin, Johan, and Vera. It was so great. The boat is just absolutely amazing and so well built. It's finally real. We are finally here. Pretty amazing stuff. Today we have a big work day on top. So yesterday we got the orientation to the boat, spent some time walking around the boat with the previous owners, you know, a lot of Malin from Rand Sailing. Extremely great people. Great boat. The Nayad 440 is a classic, very well-built, seaworthy boat. So we're super pleased and happy to get that. 
Today we're going to be doing some minor upgrades. The anchor light on the boat. We knew about this before we came down. Johanna let me know that the anchor light, one of the cells had stopped working. So one side was working, the other side was not. So I brought down with us a brand new three light LOPO light system with nav light and anchor light. So we're going to be replacing that. Lots of work on tap today. We're looking forward to it. So you guys come on along go with us. After our first night's rest in Curacao, the next day it was back to the marina where we started working on the boat. The anchor light at the top of the mast wasn't working, so we installed a new local light nav and anchor light system. After getting strapped into the bosun seat harness system, Johan showed Amber how to use the spinnaker halyard and one of our super strong electric winches to hoist me all the way to the top of the mast, almost 70 feet up in the air. While up there, we also installed a new B&G WS320 wireless wind sensor. Fortunately, I don't have a fear of most anything, including heights. Hanging at the top of the mast with the tropical breeze blowing and the boat swaying in the water sure isn't for the faint of heart. Okay. All right. Yeah. I didn't feel. That's good. My leg is going to sleep sitting yeah, in this harness. Yeah. Wow. What a day. So we did all the things that you just saw. And tomorrow we definitely have another big day. But we didn't want to leave you hanging. We ran by the grocery store. And then tomorrow we've got a big day again on the boat. John just went and hopped in the shower. And I'm about to go hop in the other shower. And get refreshed because we do have dinner reservations at 6.30 tonight. Okay, we are headed to the taxi to go to our dinner. Sean made us reservations at the governor. It'll be good. And we're gonna meet Malin, Johan, and little baby Vera. From Ram Sailing. Yes. Okay guys, welcome to day three. We went and got a rental car this morning. Now we are going to run in here to the marina and start getting some work done. I'm back up the mast today and do some more work at the top of the mast and mast and then we're gonna go sailing. Are you ready to go on our first sail? Yes. Okay. After all the work was done at the top of the mast, it was time to head out in the Caribbean for our first sea trial and checkout. The wind and waves made for a sporty first checkout, but the rock solid Nayad made it a breeze. Back in the harbor, we fueled up the boat and Amber got some practice with the anchor system and learned how to drop and raise the hook. Mm -hmm. 
Then back at the marina, it was time to jump in and do a quick scrub of the prop to get the fouling and growth off the prop since it had been some time since it was last cleaned. Keeping the prop free of growth reduces vibration, making for smoother running and faster speeds. All right, we're just cleaning out the Airbnb and getting ready to, basically today's gonna sort of be like an errand day and preparing for sailing tomorrow. Sean has been loading up the car from the Airbnb and cleaning it out really quick. The errands for the day have begun. We're in the car now. We've just checked out of our Airbnb and in no particular order we are going to be going to customs, go to a home store and grab some towels for the boat. We do need to go to a marine store and pick up some things for the boat. We've got to return the rental car, do some light provisioning until we get to Puerto Rico to last us until then. Did I leave anything out last one? Nope, all sounds good. Shopping. Next stop, Budget Marine. Just an update, we went to customs. That was easy peasy. Went perfectly after we waited a little bit for them to get there. We went and grabbed some cigars, some Cuban cigars. And then ran over to a home store, grabbed a few things that we need for the boat to prepare for the passage. Then we came to a Marine store, Budget Marine. Now we are headed to take the rental car back because the rental car place closes at noon. Lucky for us, it is right beside a grocery store, so we're gonna grab a few things while we're there, and then we're gonna get back to the boat and breathe for a moment. <laughs> to the boat, all of our errands have been run. Sean has opened up all of the hatches for us. We are actually getting quite a bit of air in here and it feels really good. We did some light provisioning, some milk, um, just a little bit of fruit and stuff for sandwiches and then just a few things that we can make on the passage to Puerto Rico. So I'm going to begin to kind of prepare all of our things now for passage tomorrow. A lot of stuff up there that we need to get in here that we just lightly sat in there, but... Next time on Sailing Teleroo. He tries to speak to the people here and nobody speaks English. After a few days in Curacao getting everything ready, the day finally came. It was time to cast off the lines and head out to sea. As we left the beautiful island of Curacao behind, the feeling of finally being at sea in our very own sailboat was heart-stirring and truly awe-inspiring. The strength and stability of our magnificent Nayad as it plowed its way through the churned up Caribbean waters was absolutely stunning. Amber and I couldn't be more enamored with our great life adventure we have chosen of sailing around the world. It has been said 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. <laughs>